What if we... What if we democratized access to clean energy? This is Steph Spears, a clean energy entrepreneur. I grew up in Honolulu. Went to college on the mainland, and I learned to be a community organizer. And I learned that people can come together and do incredible things that seem impossible. Like, what if we gave everyone access to solar power? Let's talk about energy. Energy obviously powers everything we do, and we're using more and more. When people turn on their light switch, there's a mix of sources of power that's providing the electricity. Coal, fossil fuels, hydropower, geothermal, wind, solar, nuclear, coal. Damn it, I said coal already. <laughs> and for the last 100 years, we've gotten our electricity from monopoly utilities, and people don't recognize that they have a choice in choosing the source of their power. The problem is, only 20% of Americans can put solar on their own home. It's a variety of reasons why. Maybe they're a renter, the roof is facing the wrong way, maybe there's a tree covering their roof. That means that 80% of Americans can't get solar. That leaves a lot of us out. So there's a new type of solar out there and it's called community solar. You don't put solar on your own home. You buy a portion of a neighborhood shared solar farm in your local community. You continue to get your utility bill. A credit shows up for the solar that's produced by your portion of the shared solar farm. And most people save about 10% off their electricity bill. So that's why Steph co-founded her company, Solstice. We use community organizing to build a movement and build a community around these solar farms and spread the word that way. I thought people were going to sign up because it was the right thing to do for the planet. Here's my biggest lesson. People sign up for renewables because it's cheaper than fossil fuels, it's simple and accessible, and their friends are doing it too. But it wasn't easy for everyone. When we got down the path of trying to sign them up, you need a FICO score of 680 or 700 in order to get access to community solar. But over half the country doesn't have a 700 FICO score. So right out of the gate, we're going to eliminate half the country from getting access to cheaper, clean energy. That makes no sense. So Steph and her team created a new score to help people access community solar. The energy score. The energy score is something that we invented that's an alternative qualification metric. It's based on a bunch of demographic data, including your utility repayment history. We found that it's more accurate and it's more inclusive of low to moderate income Americans. They are affected the most by climate change. They pay a disproportionate amount of their income on energy. And they also are disproportionately locked out of the benefits of clean energy. And this matters to me because my mom was one of those low-income renters who would never be able to put solar on her own home. And I watched her my whole life sacrifice so much as a single mom, an immigrant mother, and something like community solar could have helped her so much. We believe that energy is a human right. We need energy to power our lives. And it benefits everyone when we get access to clean energy and we get it to as many people as possible.